as is tradition here on BuggleBots, we're going to give all of our robots who have yet to win a fight in the main competition the chance to take home our coveted wooden spoon for winning our dung beetle melee. There's going to be ten of them at once, and here to meet them, we've got Sarah. Thank you, Bob. Yes, this is the coveted wooden spoon prize, which will go to our dung beetle melee winner. So first up, we have, hello there, our pink axe robot. How are you feeling about this crazy battle? Pretty good. Plenty of targets, plenty of spinners to just drive straight into. And we've lost a lot from the wedge over the course of the weekend. That gave us a few grams that we've invested into nothing but super glue. So everything is now held in, including the weapon axle. So is your strategy for this going to be kamikaze? Yeah, death or glory. That's what the people want. <laughs> All right, well, good luck, guys. Wee woo! <laughs> you ready for this one? Always. Going to have good looks and shouting? Um, well, yeah. If, I mean, hopefully it's going to be an entertaining fight. We're probably going to lose then, but that will be fine. <laughs> well, good luck, wee woo. Thank you. Wide boy. Have you added any extra width? No, it's actually a little bit thinner than last time because Rev4 made my robot thinner. Ooh, Rev4, tough. I'm out to get him. I'm out to get him. Ooh, there's a grudge going on here. Well, good luck, Shaky. Catalyst! You did a bit of a suicide in your last fight, didn't you? Yeah, that was fun. That was fun. <laughs> I enjoyed that. Right, what's the plan for this battle? Um, just have fun, I think. <laughs> get underneath, tip him over. That's how I roll. Well, good luck, James. Rev four. Some somebody's out to get you. I think everyone's out to get me. <laughs> oh, I wonder why that is. Mm, I don't know. The reliability's got better, but I just gotta hope it survives. Well, good luck, Felix. Shark Cetrakian. <laughs> I'm glad it's got the actual shark head on it this time. <laughs> yeah, I've had so many requests that I couldn't turn it down really. I hope I was one of them. <laughs> many, many times. <laughs> Okay, right. What what what's the plan? <laughs> Dare I ask? I really need a spoon. <laughs> Good luck, Dave. <laughs> Maximum overdrive. This hasn't been your season, has it? But one last chance for glory for the wooden spoon. You gonna do it? If it lasts more than ten seconds this time, maybe. <laughs> well, I think everybody in the audience has their fingers crossed for you. Good luck, Sam. Hold my beer. Where's your beer? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Are we ready for this crazy fight? I'm a bit confused. Are these the finals? No. <laughs> so, if I win this one, I will be Bugglebot's champion. Of the wooden spoon, yes. Okay. <laughs> Good luck, Jerome. <laughs> and the bug. The bug. Well, welcome to the Dung Beetle Melee. Uh, you're one of the harder hitter spinners of this fight. It's probably between you and Rev for the, for the big hits. You going to do it? Yeah, we're going to slaughter everything else here. In fact, we were after the wooden spoon. We didn't come here for the trophy. You can't do anything with a trophy. You can eat with a wooden spoon. What can you do with a trophy? Look at it. Go, uh, no. No, we want the wooden spoon and we're going to get it. <laughs> Good luck, Berg. <laughs> and finally, Snappy. Hello. You're a bit disappointed. You're fourth last time and you've ended up in the dung beetle this time. Bit disappointing, but this is going to be a fun melee, right? Yeah, it's going to be a laugh. Um, Snappy loves spooning other robots, so it's, I think he deserves. He deserves a nice spoon, don't you think? I think he deserves the spoon. Oh. Good luck, Craig. See you later. Good luck to all teams. The robots are ready. Let's get them in the arena. Roboteers, get ready. Three, two, one, begin. I don't know where to begin on this. That's absolute chaos and absolute madness there. Sharks are tracking in as being bullied in the bottom corner of the arena. White Boy and Ogre Drive having their own little fight up in the top there. Snappy in the middle, just going for anything. The bear bouncing about. I think Wide Boy is having trouble there at the top of the arena. There's Max Overdrive. Drive overdrive. The saw down on. Is that the bird? I believe that's the bird, yes. That's the winner. Oh, huge slam there! Bits on the arena. What has happened to Rev? Shark, you gotta move. Shark, you gotta move. The shark is dead in the corner, Rev being molested. Ten, Turn off my beer. Nine. Rev 4 and 2 Bird 2 Furious, six, that's it for them. Five, Counted down five, and out. Three, 
as the pet slowly but surely descends. Wide boy under pressure now for Maximum Overdrive. Free again, now taking on Hello there. Snappy having a little bit of a slap there as well. We were going in for Hello there as Catalyst has another go at Hold My Beer. Not going to be much point there as it runs each way up. This is absolute chaos and carnage. There's We Woo uh, taking some shots there from Hello there. Hello there, very, very close to that pet. The wheels have come off of one of the halves of the Wee Woo cluster as the other half is rammed into Shark the wall by White move. Boy. They're so, Ten, so quick across nine, this arena floor. Eight. Sharks are tracking and now being counted out. That is the shark that will no longer be Someone screaming. Yeah! Someone's ordered the shark fin soup as Ogre Drive is being rammed into the wall by Catalyst. Oh, lucky, and lucky. he's caught on the wall and I think he's jammed there. White Boy! Pushed into the pit by Snappy. That's them eliminated. Snappy now pushing into Hello there, trying to wedge it up on the wall. We oh, were running around. My beer is looking very, very out of control there as it nearly went in the pit. Hello there. Nine, very, very close to the pit now eight, as well. Maximum seven, overdrive. Six, they can't get five, off that side wall. Four, that is it for three, them. Maximum overdrive. Two, what a disappointing one, season has been for them. Nine, such a nine, shame. Nine, such a great robot it was. Snappy has now jammed itself against the wall and doesn't appear to be moving. Oh, there he is. Sharks and Tracking's gone. He's been counted out ages ago. Hello there is using its axe now as a battering ram and a keep away stick. And now it's slowing down. Now we're into the machines that have the most staying power here. They're snappy. Now going for a push on Hello there. As one of the Wee Woos comes in for a nudge. Hold my beer. This is going to turn into a war of attrition as to who's got the biggest batteries and the longest lifespan. Absolutely right. Snappy there. Now pushing back on Hello there once again. <laughs> Hold my beer, still out there. Wee Woo still going strong, although both Wee Woo clusters are upside down, meaning their wedges and their magnets are useless. Still teetering around the arena like crazy. Snappy him with another left, now pushing him to hold my beer. Catalyst trying to turn over. Hello there in the corner. There it goes. Oh, and hello there, it's over on its roof. Ten, and I don't think it can nine, self right. I think the axe eight, is broken. Certainly without seven, that axe, that is then six, done for five, in this competition. Four, Spinner proof three, that wasn't even two, arena proof. One, goodbye there. We're down two. Hold my beer. Catalyst, Snappy, and one half of the Wee Woos. Oh, Snappy taking a great ram there from Catalyst. Oh, that was very lucky there. Snappy nearly pinned on Sharks tracking on the edge of the pit. They're still not out of the woods yet. Ten, nine, and Snappy, oh, eight, just about three. Getting yourself free and getting back in there. Hold my beer, parts of yeah, Sharks are tracking all over the arena. Right. Uh, they will have to start counting them as Arena has at this point as Hold My Beer tackles one of the Wee Woo and now going for another. Nice little Wee Woo sandwich there between Snappy and Hold My Beer. Catalyst and Snappy trying to get a, almost like a tech. Nice little flip there by Snappy Catalyst turning and Snappy. Back over beautifully. Wee Woo is still upside down. I think if they can get turned back right side up, they can possibly get Oh no, not oh. anymore. Catalyst takes out one half of the cluster bot. We've lost Wee, so we're down to Woo. I think a lot of Wee has been lost throughout this fight. So we're down to half of Wee Woo. We've got Catalyst, Hold My Beer, and Snappy. Snappy certainly looking to be the most aggressive still with a nice big slam there on Catalyst. Catalyst trying to get under Snappy but not succeeding. Turning over, hold my beer again, despite the fact it runs both ways up. Great little push there by Catalyst on hold my beer and that's them. Now stuck in the pit. There's so many machines in there now. Hold my beer trying to get away, failing to do so. Hold my beer trapped themselves in the pit there. That's them lost will. their chance, so we're down to two and a half <laughs> yeah two and a half the final two and a half competitors left catalyst now trying for another little lift there on one half of the wee woo and oh snappy driving catalyst backwards and oh he's wedged him on top of his flipper and he's going nowhere he's gonna get counted out so we're down to one and a half we've got snappy versus woo Come on, Snappy. Oh, you can tell Snappy's he wants this trying win. to get a repeat of what earlier, but his flip is nicely knocked back on. They're driving into the wall. It's a very difficult machine to fight, are those little Wee Woo cluster bots and Snappy being very, very careful here. He's I like that. trying to do what Drizzle did earlier and cause one of the Woo clusters to get stuck against the wall by its magnets. But obviously, Wu is a very fast and when nimble machine, and because it's much smaller, it's a much tinier target for Snappy to hit. Nice and as Snappy just wedged itself under the arena, 
Unbelievable. Oh, he's got himself oh. out. Twice no save from there. Twice. Snappy more lives than a cat. Oh, no, no. Oh. Woo has got himself stuck at the edge of the pit. All it has to do is wait for it to be counted out, and Snappy wins the dung beetle. No little nudge there, no little final insult from Snappy. No, just a wave of goodbye. Snappy and the dung beetle. A little bit of commiseration to make up for such an unfortunate performance. They were certainly very unlucky throughout this entire series of Bugglebots, but it's nice to see Craig get the win with Snappy. Well, nine of them still haven't won a fight, but what a show they put on. Can we have a hand for them, please? <laughs> All right, Felix. Can I... Just very quickly, that big hit at the start, that was you, wasn't it? Yeah, that was probably the best hit his had. I mean, you, you sent several bots flying, and then you just got stuck against the wall, didn't you? Yeah, it does what it does best and dies when I don't want it to. <laughs> well, it was spectacular anyway. Give it up for Rev. <laughs> All right, come on. Catalyst, you fought so hard until the end, and then you got stuck down the pit. Well, sort of on your flipper. What happened there? Yeah, uh, yeah, it kind of, as Snappy turned me over, I kind of went to flap the flipper to try and stop him, and it just kind of got stuck open like that. <laughs> but fantastic longevity from the robot. Yeah, he did, he did all right. It, it kind of, it actually, it sort of drove all right whilst barely being held together. There's like one screw there. Yeah, I'm, I got, I'm, I'm really happy with that, yeah. I'm, and so you should be. Give it up for Catalyst! <laughs> So, you ended up in the pit. Yeah. Um, As so, is tradition. <laughs> so you just left you left your your partner to do all the work for you. It wasn't voluntarily though. Oh. James, who has conveniently left the room already, <laughs> put me there again. <laughs> so, <laughs> but uh, uh, in the end, you know, uh, uh, Snappy won. Uh, well deserved, I think. Yeah, absolutely, Dave. You lasted a lot longer. Uh, I could hear you asking James to, to turn you back over again with Catalyst. I don't think he was going to be quite that sportsmanlike. <laughs> no, I, I have a feeling. I think he actually turned me over initially, and there's no way he was going to turn me back over, not after me smacking him into the ceiling earlier. <laughs> so, <laughs> but no, it, that, was, that was great. Uh, I was up against it as soon as I was on my lid, but I'm just glad I kept going right to the very end there. Did you think Snappy was going to stick you to the wall? Uh, it, the thought did cross my mind. I thought, I, I thought, oh, he's got me right there, but I just managed to reverse off just in time. Next time, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> well, excellent. Give it up for Wee Woo! <laughs> All right, come on, keep this command all moving. Once again, you weren't wide enough. Exactly. I think if there's one thing we learned from the amount of rovers that ended up in this pit, none of us are wide enough. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to see a widening of the meta for next series. Yeah, definitely a widening. I was overall pretty happy with how my bot performed this series. You know, I thought it put up a fight in at least each of its fights. Uh, I just need to make it wider and drive it better. Excellent. Did I see you getting some cheeky after the bell hits on Sharks of Trackian in the pit? It's vicious allegations. I would never do such a thing to such an incredible robot. We'll check the footage. <laughs> Give it up for Wide Boy! <laughs> Jerome, that's probably the best you've performed this series. I know, right? I didn't know what happened. Uh, I was just driving around and I think I actually took one robot out by accident. So. <laughs> by accident. But nonetheless, a great performance. If you had a bit more traction on your wheels, do you think you could have maybe got out of the pit? It was quite a slow demise as you sank into it on a pile of robots. Yeah, the thing is, it's my first beetle weight, so the parts I had laying around were like for beetle weights 10 years ago and not for now so it's a bit underpowered but i know what to improve and most of all it held up pretty well so happy about it wonderful give it up for hold my beer <laughs> <laughs> the shark is still mostly in one piece still works how good is that can we have a round of applause the shark is still going <laughs> Can we, can we get your side of the story? Did Shaky go for some cheeky extra hits on you in the pit? Yeah, I don't mind that because I lasted longer than the Berg, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, come on, you go past. We'll see what the Berg makes that. Give it up for Sharks of Trackian! <laughs> so, uh, so a glorious victory for you guys? Um, it was actually a loss, I'm afraid to admit it. We. Is this finally some humility? I'm, I'm not a man of conspiracies, but we lost because 
there was clearly a pact for everybody else in the <laughs> arena against us. And I've got something to say to Dave. Great white sharks are getting dramatically destroyed by people. He's on our hit list, mate. I think Greenpeace might have something to say about that. Get out of here. Give it up for the bug! <laughs> Sam, yeah. you, were, you were bent over the wall like you were ready to be spanked. Um, <laughs> uh, did I see smoke rising from it at some point as well? Uh, yeah, I think the weapon might have burned out. Um, I think the pulley was slipping on it as well, so that's why it wasn't going through as easily as it does, but I've got a spare weapon over so... You took out the Berg, much to everyone's delight. <laughs> I did take out the Berg, I was going for the Berg. <laughs> so, I just I wanted one thing, because I haven't got to use the sword this weekend, so I wanted one thing, and that's, uh, that's made my weekend. Yeah, I heard them talking, I think you went through their power line, so there was no coming back from yeah, that. cut their receiver in half, actually. <laughs> um, did I also see you going after the shark, after it had been immobilized? No, that's uh, it's just uh, visual effects for the polycarp, it's fine. Excellent. All right, give it up for Maximum Mocha Dry! <laughs> Once you were upside down, that was it, wasn't it? Yeah, the weapon broke pretty early. The uh, linkage for it fell loose, so we couldn't do anything with it. It was a shame. <laughs> it was a shame. At one point, you had the axe hooked over the edge of the pit. Did you think maybe that would drag you down? Um, anything's possible. <laughs> Could have happened. It didn't, though, and that's the important thing. Have you had a good time? We've had an excellent time here. It's been great fun. Wonderful. Give it up for Hello There! <laughs> so I was told by referee Tim that you were almost counted out three times during that fight. That's incredible survivalism. Yeah, um, I don't know how it did it. It just kept losing signal and then coming back to life. Um, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> we thought we th I thought you were gone when you were stuck under the wall uh, when, you, when you pushed we into there. Yeah, I mean, got stuck on the wall got stuck on the edge of the pit, went, I think we went upside down once or twice. Um, the fact that it survived is very, very nice. It really is. I mean, we were celebrating. Dave was spinning around in the middle of the arena. He thought he had you, but he didn't. No, he didn't. I um, can't actually remember how he ended up in there. It's all a fever dream. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is for all of us. Nonetheless, you are our Dung Beetle champion and here to give you your wooden spoon, we've got Sarah. Thank you very much. Give it up for your Dung Beetle champion, Snappy! <laughs> Brilliant. Still a very popular robot. <laughs> Marvellous. Here at Buggled Box, we like to recognise achievements that aren't just podium places, so we have got some additional trophies that we'd like to give out to the Roboteers. First, I'd like to invite up our referee, Tim Rackers. Tim, what award do you have? So I have the most entertaining, as you know, I have to watch a lot of fights. It's nice to see something a little different that makes you smile. So, Tim, who is our most entertaining 2019 award going to? Well, the audience certainly loved them, and we absolutely love them. So, Dave Laurie, this is yours. Sharks to Trakian! <laughs> And next, I'd like to call up Judge Ian Botwright. Ian, what award do you have for us here? I have the design award uh, in my hand, uh, but I would like to say that the standard of uh, robots across the board this year is just so, so, so much higher. This was a really hard award to uh, decide. So um, after a lot of thought, um, it goes to gear down for what? And next, I'd like to invite Judge Anita. Anita, what award do you have for us? I have the Newcomer Award. And uh, it's been mentioned before in interviews. She watched the first Bogobot series and she loved it so much, she started building and she did so well in the competition. So it's for Myra from Jay. Myra from Jay. And next, I'd like to invite referee Shane Lael up, please. Shane, what have you got for us? I have the best driver award because I'm known as a very good driver. Uh, <laughs> this year, there has been some amazing fights, some amazing driving. But this year, we've decided to give it to Rust in Pieces, 
Edward and Isaac. And finally, Judge Kane Aston, please come to the front. You have our final award. What is our final award, Kane? So I'm presenting the Best Sportsmanship Award. And this is something that makes me really proud that our community works so closely together and so friendly in the pits, but that we still can get into the arena and have a proper fight. I think a lot of names have been put forward to deliver a, a good sportsmanship in the, uh, both in the pits and in the arena but the name that stood out is Felix Townsend. Felix.